Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about examples based on A star search. Okay. So we'll take one example and we'll try to solve this example using A star search algorithm. Okay. Now here you can see one state space is given to us. This is the starting node. Okay. This is the starting node S. And from S I can go to A. From A I can go to B. And from S I can go to B also. From B I can go to C. From A also I can go to C. And this is my goal node, right? This is my goal node, which is G. So from A, I can go to G and C, I can go to uh, G. This one, two, four indicate the path cost. Means for going, means from S to B, I will take, it will require four units. From B to C, I will require two units. So like this, right? In this way, uh, we can consider as a path cost or age cost. Now in the A star search algorithm, our evaluation function is the summation of g of n plus h of n, right? So g of n is basically a cheapest or you can say a lowest cumulative cumulative cost of uh, node n, any specific n from root node, right? From root node. And this is our heuristic function, that is h of n. Now, in this case, let us assume the heuristic value. Let us consider, we are estimating the heuristic value. Assume or uh, estimating the heuristic value h of n, like from a to g, okay. So, from a to g, it will take me around, say, suppose 6 unit. And from b to g, it will take me around 2 unit. And from c to g, it will take me around, say, 1 unit, right. And from like g to g, like so the value of heuristic function for a goal state is zero, right? And see, for example, s to g from s to g, we require say for example seven unit. Okay. Now let us try to solve this particular example using this a star search algorithm. So this is the f of n function, right? So at first we have s, right? We have s. From s I can go to a. From s I can go to b. Now which node I will select first? So based on the f of n value, right? Now calculate f of n value for both the nodes. So f of a will be 1, that is 1, plus from a to g, that is heuristic value, that is a to g, that is 6. That is 1 plus 6, that is 7. Calculate f of b value, f of b. f of b is, g of n is 4, and from b to g, heuristic function h of n is 2, that is 4 plus 2, that is 6, right? Now out of this, which one is lowest? This one B1, right? Then I will go to B. I am going to B at a cost of 6, right? So the value of path is 4 and the heuristic uh, value is. Okay. Now from B I can go to C, but at what cost? Like F of C, we need to calculate through A, so through S, B, C. So through SPC, the f of c will be 4 plus 2, that is 6. And from c to g, that will be 1, that is 7. This is 7, right? Now, we already explored this particular state via uh, s to b. This is s to b, right? And this is s to a. Now, which one is lowest? s to a is 7. And from a, it is 7. And from node c, it is 7, right? So, in that case, we can take any of the value. Now, case 1, let us consider this a function right this a value 7 we can also consider this c node but we will consider this a node right consider f of a equals to 7 we are going to consider this and by which path by s to a now i will move to a okay at what cost at the cost of h cost 1 but heuristic value is uh, 6 so total 7 right it is 6 now from a i can go to b i can go to c i can go to g right from a i can go to b i can go to c i can go to g Right now, here if you see from A, I can go to C, I can go to uh, from A, I can go to B, and from A, I can go to G directly. But by via which path? S to A, S to A, S to A. Now, if you calculate F of C value for this particular path, so what it will be like 1 plus uh, 5, that is 6, 6 plus C to G that is heuristic value, that is 1, that is 7. What is f of b here? f of b here. Remember, this f of b and this f of b are different because this f of b we are calculating based on s to b. 
and this f of b we are calculating as to a a to b okay now here 1 plus 2 that is 3 and from b to g that is 2 that is 3 plus 2 that is 5 right this is 5 now what about a g f of uh, g here f of g here will be 1 plus 12 that is 13 and the value of g like google is 0 right that is 13 plus 0 that is 13 itself right now we have explored d but we already have this particular uh, part like f of c so that is s to b uh, b to c right this one now from this and these three paths which one is lowest this particular value c value right that is from s a to b then i will go to b then i am going to b value here right so what cost at the cost of 2 the path cost of 2 and the heuristic value of uh, 2 right so i have used this but from b now i reached b but from b i can go to c right so from b i can go to c again by which path i am considering this path only that is s to a a to b and b to c path now this part if we calculate f of c value in this case what will be the value f of c so 1 plus 2 that is 3 plus 2 that is 5 and 5 to uh, c to g that is 6 that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 here right that will be 6 now here you can see f of c is 7 and here f of c is 6 right so we will not consider this particular part right and also we will not consider this particular part because for this f of c also it is 6 right so we will eliminate these two paths right because the f of c the value f of c we got is 6 from among these three particular paths right by which path s to a a to b b to c right now b to c again okay it is b to c for example this is c right so what cost 1 plus 2 that is 2 6 now out of this which path is remaining a to g is remaining directly i can go to a to g is remaining because b to c i am not i cannot go because already uh, we have the lowest uh, cost for this particular node value c right so we have chosen that 6 value now from c i can go to uh, g right but at what cost at the cost of but from c that is from uh, this particular path itself s to a a to b c and c to g at the what cost 1 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 and the value of g is 0 right at a particular heuristic function that is 8 so the cost of 8 i can go to g so this will be g right so 1 plus 2 2 plus uh, 3 that is 3 yes so in this way you can find we'll find out the goal path right because the cost of a g so the cost of a g is in this case is 8 right and if you see uh, which one is having the unexplored path and if you see which one is having unexplored path this is 13 right so this is not correct so we will take the only lowest path so that is g equals to 8 so in this way we will get the optimal value right this is for case 1 because we have selected f of a equals to 7 initially right now in the case 2 like we have reached till this right a and from a i can go from s i can go to b this path is 1 this is 4 this is 6 uh, this is also uh, a to g is 6 and b to g is 2 right this is 2 now if you observe here we have two options right that f of a we are s of a is the value of 7 then f of c we are s to b and b to c so this will also be like 4 plus 2 6 and c to g that is 7 that is 6 plus 1 7 right so what we have taken we have find out uh, this case right we have taken this case and we try to solve that but what if we consider this particular path before this because we can take any node right but now if we consider this thing now what will be the value of now what will happen c now from b i can go to c right i am going to c so what cost at a cost of 2 right at the cost of 2 now from c i can directly go to uh, g that is s to b b to c and b to g at a what cost at what cost 4 plus 2 6 plus 3 that is 9 here that is 9 and the heuristic value of goal function is 0 that is 9 here right it is g of 9 right now here in this case we have reached the goal state but at co at what cost at the cost of 9 
But in the open list, we already have one node which is having the lowest cost, right? That is 7, right? In the previous case, we reached this particular goal at a cost of 8 and we have and we have only one path in, in our list that is open list that is 13, right? Which is greater than this particular value. So, we are not, we are not going to explore this path. But in this case, if you see the goal has reached at a unit of 9, at a cost of 9, but f of a it will take only 7 unit to reach that particular g now what a star will do right it will again go to this particular path f of a f of a right that is f of a via this path and then from this particular path it will try to explore right because the cost because the cost function is lesser than this particular thing now from this particular path it will take 7 unit to reach the g and uh, but by via this path it will take uh, 9 unit right now our algorithm will explore this path also right and the same process will be followed and finally we'll reach this particular path here that is s to a a to b b to c and c to g at the cost of 8 right so this will be our optimal path right right so in this way we'll get the optimal uh, path of so in so in this way we'll get the optimal path in the case of a star search right Okay, I hope you understand this particular example. Please try to solve this particular example by your own and then again you can watch this particular video, right? Because here what we have done, f of n, f of c, both, uh, both the nodes are having the same value. So, first we have uh, taken f of a. Then in the next thing, uh, we have taken f of c, okay? Then we have explored uh, both the cases individually. In this case, our algorithm will not stop. It will again explore uh, one more path because the cost is less. But in this case, algorithm will stop because it, it doesn't have any other path to explore because this is the least value, right? So, I hope you understand the difference why I have considered two cases here. Okay, so please try to solve this problem by your own. And now, one more thing about this A star. We have something called admissible. Admissible and second thing is consistent, right? consistent okay so we'll discuss this admissible and consistent in the next video okay thank you